Needman, North Teller, West 80 South Poles. Uh, it's August 9th today, August 8th, no, it's Friday. Uh, just moved him into this new paddock here. Uh, we're up on the north end of the 80 here. Uh, we skipped. We skipped everything over there. Uh, we got all the rams over there and some netting. So I skipped all that so we can have the rams over there. And then we can run all these ewes ahead. Um, and we're going to try to get them over to the new farm here before the next end of the next rotation. So this is, uh, so this is the fourth... This is the fourth time they've been in here to graze this. Uh, started back where I showed you just a second ago. Started there back in May. May 7th, I think, was the first grazing day. And started coming this way. So this is... Uh, we skipped those paddocks, so this is probably at like 28, 29 days rest. And... Uh, We got a bunch of foxtail in here, a little bunch of vegetative grass in here. It's uh, I don't know. They're doing pretty good on this. So what we've done is we've tried to just move them quick. We just move them every day and give them, you know, sometimes it's not enough because you know you're gauging all the time, but uh, give them as much is you think they need for the day and let them tip all that off you don't want to let them hammer it too hard um otherwise they'll they'll run it do, down too hard but uh uh the nutrition doing this i believe is unmatched uh, i'm just kind of zeroing in here on this so she's just going to be coming back into She's just gonna be coming back into heat soon here, or she might be already, and she's gonna, she's ready to be bred again, and uh, I think she's got the condition to make it happen here. Um, yeah, I had a comment said tip grazing only works in theory. I don't know. Does that look like a theory to you right there? I don't know. See if we can get her to go into the sun a little bit more. We can really get a good look. Let's go look at some other ones. She's got a couple flies on her, but you know, you'll have that. It's been cold. It's been a little cooler here too. Uh, been having some lows in the 50s, and this week the highs have been in the 60s. So we were in the mid to upper 80s last week. I think we even had 90 on Saturday last Saturday, almost a week ago. And, uh, yeah, it's just been great this week. We had a bunch of rain. It's been a little cooler. Work's been going pretty good in that respect. Here's a steer here. He's not looking too bad. It's a yearling steer. He's starting to put on a little bit of condition here. Uh, you can look at what we're... Yeah, here, we got this foxtail. Hey, Chad. Yeah, Chad wants to say hi. Hey Chad. There's CJ too. Hey CJ. <laughs> you guys. Yes, quit it, you guys. Hard to do anything with pesky boys. Hey, come on now. Trying to trying to show them the grass. You're causing issues. Get out of here now. Alright. Get back. Get back up. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, you rascals. Well, I guess I can't bend down and show you the grass. we got to look at it from up here. They're playful tonight. Um, so, yeah, so back to what I was talking about, this tip grazing thing. I, I, I think it's the only way to go, honestly. I don't know. Maybe it's not the way to do it all the time, but I, I don't know. I think most of the time it's a good deal. I've been doing it all summer. did it all last summer through drought and all that, and... I don't know. It seems to be doing the trick here. I'm, I've been pretty happy with the results so far. Um, 
some pretty good condition on these white cattle too. Not too bad. Need some wrinkles on the tail head. The sheep are looking nice. Looking real nice. Pretty plump. Yeah, nice and slicked off. Shed off. Yeah, looking good. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're just kind of. Oh, there's a pretty, pretty little heifer. Yep. So we're just, uh, yeah, fourth rotation here, moving them quick. Um, I don't know if it's going to require a fifth time grazing. I got to get my button gear on the fence. I uh, got to get it ready for everybody. Well, hopefully everybody that's coming in September. Got uh, a little grazing school going on in September. Hopefully a bunch of people can make that. We're in central Minnesota. Uh, near Wadena. It's going to be September 27th and 28th. We've got uh, serving lunch both days from the local barbecue shop, uh, barbecue smokehouse in Wadena. Uh, we got a dinner going on with a local chef uh, serving up a bunch of local foods, locally sourced foods. And then we're going to have Greg Judy and Isaac Tappenden being our main speakers for the, for the two days. We're going to have two days of lecture in Verndale at our community center and we're going to have uh, we're going to have uh, two days of pasture walks out here at uh, this farm and the new farm so uh, I don't know I'll try to maybe shoot a little video of the new farm I'm going to try to get out there and do something this weekend so all right I'm going to get out of here everybody have a good night and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.